What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So first off, I have to give a big shout out to my Crimson Tide, uh, University of Alabama football college national championships. It's their 18th national championship. Not a, another team has even come close. And Nick Saban, Nick Saban, this is his seventh national championship as a coach, most of all time, passing another Alabama great, Bear Bryant. But they asked Nick after the game, they said, can you even process the fact that you just won your seventh national championship and it's the most ever in the history of the game? And he said, no, I can't process it. I'm too busy thinking forward. I'm thinking about what we have to do moving forward to even process what he's doing, he said, I'm just happy that we won the game. I love my team. He later on said that this was one of the greatest teams in history of his dynasty. He said, no other team has ever played strictly SEC teams through the whole season, went 13-0, blew everybody out, okay, broke so many records, and won the national championship. So, Big shout out to the Crimson Tide. Congrats, guys. Way to go. I'm also going to be doing live calls today with an agent up in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to put a link below. Go there, click the bell so you can get notified and watch those calls in action. Now, moving over to the real estate market, guys, listen, we're in 2021. And one thing I want you to realize is how strong and resilient of a market that we're in right now. You guys, please don't worry about markets crashing, things going wrong, things going bad. You need to fully commit to the real estate market in your career right now. Give it everything, squeeze it for every last drop that you can because now is the time to make your mark on your local market. You have to become a figure a public figure in the market. Everyone needs to know who you are, what you do, and that you're here to help. And I promise you that if you're not doing it, there's another agent out there that's doing it and they're crushing it. So don't let this opportunity slip by. 2021, I've said it on my social medias, is the year of the grind. There's no excuses this year. Right? We don't have all the excuses we had last year. We need to step up, we need to stand up, and we need to get out there and put the work in to do what we need to do to crush it. Don't you want to crush it? Don't you want to crush it for your family? Don't you want to crush it for yourself? Get out there and give it everything you got. I'll tell you this, there's over a trillion dollars sitting in money market accounts right now. A trillion dollars sitting in money market accounts waiting for the market to drop, waiting for foreclosures to hit, waiting for stocks to come down. There's just waiting and it's, it's cushion. We have so much cushion in the market right now. If something were to happen, there's so much cash there to help stabilize the market if something happens. It's going to be such an opportunity either way it goes this year. I believe that we're in a market that's going to continue to be strong because there is so much cushion, there's still so much demand, and so little inventory. And if that even switches around just a little bit, if inventory goes up, demand comes down, even if prices flatten out or even come down a little bit, it's going to open up so much, right? It's going to open up so much, and it's going to be a lot easier, as easy as it is right now, right? A lot of you are having some of your best years that you've ever had. Last year, I know a lot of agents, best year they ever had. I think there's an underlying huge population of real estate agents who aren't speaking up, who had the worst year they ever had because they made 2020 an excuse and they're just not telling anybody, right? You need to take advantage of 2021. It's like my shirt says, business is unlimited forever. Look, when I started coaching for free, I started coaching everyone for free, including every agent in my local market. I put every single email in my coaching program and literally sent them emails along with everyone else every day, giving them my exact playbook. And people were getting mad at me. People in my office were getting mad at me. Even relatives were saying that this is not a smart move, Ricky. Do not share your secrets with everyone, especially your competition. But I so understood this. I was so deep in this game that I realized it didn't matter if I gave my playbook to my competition. Business is unlimited, 
right? Unlimited forever for every single person. The only thing that separates success is how much work you want to put in. How patient are you going to be? How bad do you really want it? And speaking of how bad you really want it, Zillow, okay, Zillow switching over to their own brokerage, okay? Now, I've let this slide. I've been standing on the sidelines. I didn't come right out and say, but I've been watching it from afar, just trying to see how they orchestrate everything and how everything's going to fall into place. And uh, what I'm realizing is that not only are they becoming their own brokerage, they're going to have their own agents, and they're going to do their own thing, but they're also going to stop syndicating our listings as a whole on their website. Our listings aren't going to be on Zillow anymore. Okay, so the general public's not going to be able to see every single listing on Zillow anymore, only Zillow listed properties. I believe that this is going to hurt Zillow really badly, okay, short and long term. It's going to, they're going to lose traction. They're going to lose traffic to their website. They're going to lose eyeballs because if once the general public realizes that they can't go there and see everything, they're going to go to a local real estate agent's website, an IDX website that has every single listing on there, and that's where they're going to go to look for properties. Why would they go to a website that only has a select few properties of the market? Right? Why wouldn't they go to a website that has every listing of the market? So that's what I find very interesting. I, you know, I, I, it hasn't happened here yet. It's happening in some markets. So I'm still staying on the sidelines waiting to see how this whole thing plays out. But it's very ironic how Zilla came into the game. They're all about agents. They, we build a platform off of our MLS and our listings and our revenue, paying them for leads. And then they turn around and say, okay, now we're going to take all your listings off our website, only put our listings on our website and build our brokerage. And hey, maybe that will finally be the business model that works for Zillow because nothing has worked out so far. Nothing has worked out. The, the, the lead generation for real estate agents business, it was a loss. The iBuyer business, they were buying houses and selling them at a loss. They keep squirming around trying to find some way to make money and they keep raising money, they keep raising money, but yet are not profitable. So maybe this will be the one that they finally see a profit from. That is yet to be seen, and uh, it's gonna be real interesting to stand on the sidelines and watch this happen. Here's what I'll say about Zillow. Not a threat at all to us. Okay, when I say us, I'm talking about real estate agents, the real estate agent community. Right, and I believe that it's gonna actually create a huge opportunity for us. I mean, this could be the beginning of the end for Zillow. We'll just have to see which way this goes. I'm gonna keep a close eye on it. Let me know what you think in the comments about this and what you're seeing in your local market and what your clients and customers are saying. Another interesting topic that I saw yesterday was the fact that Compass has put in their application with the SEC to go public right? They're going to go public. They're trying to move in that direction. Uh, last year, uh, they took a lot of money and, and it valued their company at $6.4 billion. So we don't know what the price is going to be. We don't know how many shares they're going to sell. We don't know anything right now, but it's going to be really interesting to see uh, when it comes out, how much it's going for, what the valuation is going to be, and where they go from here. One thing that I think is interesting about Compass right now Okay, is that there's still a lawsuit going on between Realty and Compass. Realty, they fought a lawsuit uh, against Compass uh, over unfair business practices and illegal schemes to gain market share at all costs. Compass has publicly stated its goal to gain 20% market share in the top 20 markets by 2020. Realty alleges to reach its desired ends Compass steals from tortuously interferes with its competitors. Specifically, Realogy points that Compass's compensation packages to competitors, employees, and agents are so inflated that Compass is sure to operate at a loss. They also allege that once Compass achieves dominance in the market share, it will raise commission splits and fees in favor of the company, as well as restrain trade by collusive actions. In fact, just before filing this lawsuit, Compass co-founder and CEO personally solicited Realogy to enter into an illegal price-fixing agreement 
where the two companies would agree to limit agent compensation and compete on brand, not on price. This is what Realty is saying that, that Compass approached them with. And of course, Realty declined. <laughs> that's, some, that's some pretty harsh allegations there. I mean, my goodness. So those are fighting words there, shots fired. Hey, I know a lot of Compass agents and I love all of them. I haven't met a Compass agent that I didn't like, right? So I think the culture there has to be good because all the agents seem to be really good people that I get along with. So I don't know what's going on over there, if this is anything to be concerned about, but it's something to definitely keep an eye on. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff today. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if there's anything in the world that I could do for you, I still answer all my messages on Instagram and I read all the comments under my YouTube videos. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go. Stars up in Miami straight. I lay in the sand, land in the palace.